Hello fellow colleagues, today I'm going to share with you a tool, a stitching tool I built uh, in ImageJ or Fiji, uh, which is uh, meant to uh, stitch uh, tiles within CZI files produced by the LSM 700 Zen Black systems. These systems also produce LSM files um, but at the moment this um, this tool is uh, prepared only to to work with CZI files. This is because the, the metadata might be uh, organized differently uh, in these uh, raw files. Uh, so if you have CZI files this is for you. Uh, also this is a uh, more is primarily meant for the staff and the students of the sports and health uh, science faculty in the University of Uvascula, Finland. But of course, uh, since it's open source software, uh, I will uh, provide the code down below so you can um, you can also uh, use it and adapt it or improve on it. Of course, if you if you had uh, the Zen module uh, from Zeiss it does this also but that costs 3000 euros I mean I think you can uh, spend that money in some nice objective or some other upgrade or some uh, plate or something uh, but uh, if your case uh, in your case you don't have this stitching tool from Zeiss uh, you can use this uh, this is just one example so just to start with I'm going to quickly show you the code so this is what you'll find in the link down below uh, if you want to have access, should be giving credit to the um, to this line here. This one line is the the plugin that uh, already existed. That uh, if you want to do it by hand, if you want to do your your stitching by hand in um, in ImageJ or Fiji, you just go to plugins, stitching grid collection stitching and here you can start introducing the parameters so you should know how your uh, data has been uh, what kind of scanning mode was was done in order to image your tiles um, you would select this then you would need to know how many uh, tiles in each axis you have how much is the overlap in your file because when the LS, when the LSM system does scan your tiles it it has a predefined um, uh, overlap between the tiles that you should know and um, then you should break up individually those files those tiles within your file and save it in a folder and uh, it can be a bit messy you have a lot of variables so basically what what this tool that I'm showing to you does it is that it goes through um, a folder of your choice it looks for the CZI files uh, it breaks them apart it reads the metadata in it um, it takes uh, uh, all sorts of information as the excitation excitation wavelengths in order to produce the right colors uh, the Z stacking how many steps uh, the tile overlapping you don't need to introduce that data the number of grids in each, in each axis, uh, etc. So if I just quickly exemplify you, uh, try to open here. Uh, I'm, I just dragged a CZI file directly to I Fiji ImageJ, and if you do the same, this is what you're going to see. This uh, bio imports uh, plugin opens and asks you how do you basically want to open it. You can fiddle with that and play with this, like for each file if you want but if you just click here stitch tiles and OK basically it doesn't it ignores any sort of information it just glues the tiles together so as you can see I can actually open another one as you can see here these are the the tiles are pretty visible here and they are not being really stitched basically they are just being uh, glued to each other 
and if we zoom in you can have a better idea so this region here is the same as this region and uh, this region here is the same as this so all the overlapping is not taking into account and it's just built and of course that's not the type of image you want you want to fuse and to stitch this data together this by default is about 10% overlapping in the LSM systems but uh, if I'm not mistaken I think you can uh, change that in the LSM itself with this tool it will just read the metadata and whatever uh, overlap it has it just stitches uh, uh, take, taking that into account so basically here for our people in Viveca in the sports and health science uh, faculty uh, I built this little button here that you will see this needle and this line this is what you have to click and of course the rest of the people you just have access to the code and you just use the code as you want and of course you can run it here or you can create your own buttons but for our people you just click here there's going to be this uh, introduction window there is some basic information how you should save the files and um, this, this is likely to to change with time as the the tool is uh, being improved and uh, updated so if you do see any uh, errors and uh, problems uh, you should report them so we we can uh, keep improving this tool but for now it is doing a pretty efficiently simple stitching um, so you have two basic uh, options if you want to open your uh, images once they are stitched or if they, they, you just want to leave them there they are saved I'm going to, to have them opened and uh, you can choose uh, if you want to have um, an uh, enhanced display basically you are just uh, stretching the histogram and uh, cleaning the noise with some despeckling so for visualization purposes it might be useful if you just want to check if your stitching is okay or if you want to present it uh, quickly to someone but if you want to analyze uh, you shouldn't use this uh, at all because of course the data is being transformed as you are uh, uh, changing it so let's leave it like this for now you click OK and then you are brought to to a window where you should choose the folder that contains your CZI files uh, if you are wondering uh, I'm not Elena but this is where this our test CZI files are there is a few inside this folder already so you just click select so this is what counts here so it's doing its thing it opens a log window also if you want to follow more closely and it just takes a few seconds it comes with a, a little um, information uh, window saying how, much, how, many, how many files have you actually stitched and uh, it can be useful and uh, here they are so these are these were the CZI files that were inside of this folder and for comparison uh, I think we can use the the previous image I showed you so here it is so this image here in the right is the image uh, with uh, the raw data that where the tiles were just put together side by side as you see here ignoring the overlap you see this cell is the same as this cell this nucleus and here okay now here we can see the difference what what happens if um, if the enhancing is clicked all this contrast is improved you know like if you are in a presentation it can be useful but if you are going to analyze this data it's really not useful uh, but uh, you can uh, measure how the stitching went pretty efficient and um, yeah so this is just a, a simple stitching this was actually I think a, a five, 5 by 5 
uh, tiles you can do uh, other types I can show you just quickly some other examples so you, just to repeat you come here click this is a needle um, we want to open again and we have here other types so you can do whatever uh, number of tiles per axis that you want for instance here is two by four some files inside you might be confused that you don't see anything inside here but um, there is actually here the CZI files whatever files you have there only the CZI are going to be read if they are there inside temporary folder that is saved inside the main folder but will be deleted as soon as the job is done in this case you have uh, lipid droplets so basically fat within the, the field uh, the, the liver and um, we can let's hope, let's try with the Z with the Z stack yeah so this saves you at least 3000 euros and um, you can and a lot of work if you want to do it by hand of course you could come here like I showed you to plugins and stitching and grid collection stitching and this basically would um, this basically would bring you to this line this would run only this stitching plugin this one here which the credit should be given to their builder builders here um, yeah so this is pretty much it I hope uh, you can enjoy and um, good luck and have fun thank you